Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. All right, take your King James Bible. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 15. Just a little background. Uh, Moab was the children of Lot's incestuous relationship with his daughter. Uh, he was drunk. He didn't know. At least that's how I read it in the Bible. And evidently the children born of this relationship, I guess you could say, uh, intermarried with the Canaanites, although the Bible is not real clear about it. But Moab is not spoken very nicely in Scripture. They were enemies of Israel and created a lot of problems. So, with that in mind, let's read chapter 15 and verse 1. The burden of Moab. Because in the night Ar of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence, because in the night, Kir of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. I'm pretty sure those are um, towns or cities in Moab. Verse 2. He has gone up to Bajif and to Dibon, the high places to weep. Moab shall howl over Nebo and over Mediba. On all their heads shall be baldness, and every beard cut off. I believe that's a sign of humiliation. In their streets they shall gird themselves with sackcloth on the tops of their houses, and in their streets everyone shall howl, weeping abundantly. And Heshbon shall cry, and Eileh, their voice shall be heard even unto Jahaz. Therefore, the armed soldiers of Moab shall cry out, His life shall be grievous unto him. My heart shall cry out for Moab. His fugitives shall flee unto Zoar, an heifer of three years old. For by the mounting up of Luhith with weeping shall they go out shall they go it up. For in the way of Horonam they shall raise up a cry of destruction. For the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate, for the hay is withered away, the grass fadeth, there is no green thing. Therefore the abundance they have gotten, and that which they have laid up, shall be carried away to the brook of the willows. For the cry is gone round about the borders of Moab, the howling thereof unto Eglam, and the howling thereof unto Beer Elam. For the waters of Dimon shall be full of blood, for I will bring more upon Dimon, lions upon him that escapeth of Moab, and upon the remnant of the land. I'm sorry, I don't know much about the history of this time period, but um, I just know that the Lord was not happy with Moab, and uh, I guess this is his way of pronouncing judgment against it. So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world, in his precious name. Jesus' precious name, amen.